It's not at all uncommon for a plane to need slightly different trim setups when it goes from flying fast to flying slower. With today's computerized radios, we can make the radio remember what our trim settings were. In the Spectrum radio, they're called flight modes, and we can assign them to a switch. And life at the flying field just got a little easier. We do still have to tweak the trims now and then, but now the radio remembers them. Flip the switch to whichever your flight modes you want to use, and all the trims are set back to that. To set up the flight modes, we have to go into the system settings. Click through to that list, and then go down a little bit, and you find the flight mode setup. You can set up up to five flight modes using two different switches. I use the B switch on top of the left-hand side of the transmitter because it's easy for me to get to no matter what I'm doing with the airplane. I just click on Inhibit and flip the switch, and that assigns it. Notice when you do assign the switch, it enables three flight modes. I generally use two, and you can leave one of them blank or use all three of them. This shows which flight mode each one of the switch positions is assigned to. You can rearrange this order, though I don't understand why. But the good folks at Spectrum are able to design this stuff, and I'm not. Now we go back out to the main list, and scroll down and find Spoken Flight Mode. This is where we decide what the radio is going to say when we select this mode. Flight Mode 1. Scroll up to Speak Mode 1 and click that. And that brings up a huge list of things you can have the radio say. Strangely, they're not exactly what it looks like they are. Click on land and that gets tied to mode 1. Landing mode. And the radio tweaked it so it sounds better for what we're using it for. And if you really want to, you can rename the flight modes that you're using. Next I go to mode 2 and we're going to change that word. This is the mode that I normally fly in. And lacking a better term, I found that they had a normal mode. And that works. Normal mode. Next we have to go to the trim setup screen. This is where we tell the flight modes what they're controlling. I like the trim type and click that and it takes it to F mode. And repeat that to add the other services that you want to control. Those number fives tell you how much change is actually made every time you touch that trim tab. When you do things like adjusting sub trim or travel, you're going through one, one point at a time. By setting the trim to five, every time you touch the trim, it actually moves five of those numbers. And that number 5 works just fine for most people. You can set it between 1 and 10. The only place I've changed this is when I had a control that I could never get it right dead on. One click on a trim tab would make it either too much or too little. I went back to the trim setup and set that surface with 2. And that worked like you got my control service perfect. With your F mode set up, every time you select that model, they become active and they remember whatever trims you add to the plane. And when you shut the radio off or go to a different model, it saves those numbers. When I set up F modes, I have one for straight and level flying at speed. That's like for general flying. But then I have another one for landing, where I reduce the throttle, reduce the idle, and then I put a little down elevator in it to make sure the nose stays down a little bit. It just makes the plane more stable on landing. Right about here is where I start holding just a little bit of elevator to control the sink. Setting up the F modes means I can change between those configurations with the flip of a switch.